What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Amber, and I'm back with another video. So, before we start this video, I would like to say like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so every time I post a video, you will be notified. So, today we're gonna eat um, Juan's Flying Burrito, it's one of my favorites, and we're just gonna have, I guess, like a just a little talk. <laughs> So, just stick around with your girl and we'll be right back. Alright, so like I say, it, guys, we eating um, wines. <laughs> so, I got a barbecue chicken burrito. I don't, I don't like the way these tacos look. But it's supposed to be carne asada of food truck tacos, but they look nasty. Ugh. They didn't even give me no limes or nothing with it. Like, that's not how it's supposed to go. They give you a side of beans with it. And they give you, like, a red sauce and a green sauce. One of them spicy, one of them mild. I didn't get a drink from them, but I got some water. Mm -hmm. And no fork. Great. Great. So what I'm supposed to eat with my hands, Juan? I don't have a fork. Give me one moment. Let me go get a fork. Okay, y'all. Sorry about that. Now I'm back and now we could eat. So let's start with these beans. I don't really like I don't know. How y'all feel about beans? Oh, this refried beans. Ugh, this look nasty. Zip. I got these um tacos before and they didn't look like this. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to put that on that like that. This is not this is not what I wanted. Definitely not what the heck I wanted. But we gonna make it work because I paid my money for it. So I just got back from Panama. I'm gonna try to upload. I I took a like some type of like vlog videos, and I was gonna put them together. Oh, this cilantro and onions. If y'all didn't know, I was gonna put them together. And record I mean put them together and make like a one big video of the Panama trip so hopefully I told you I'm still learning how to do this editing and stuff so hopefully I'm able to put it all together and make the video if not sorry <laughs> this does this the one that's mild I think I don't know what the exact name of it, but this the mild one. I should have got a damn salad, because this is not what I wanted. I wanted this burrito, but not this. This the spicy one. It's a little, like, over the top. I eat spicy food. Don't get me wrong. Ugh, what the heck? They got this stuff too. Water it used to be thick. It used to be freaking thick. Not as well watery. Yeah, this does by Sima. Seems like a little. Okay. So, guess we're going to talk about Panama. Guess we're going to talk about Panama because I don't know if I'm going to be up be able, be able to upload the video so y'all can see it. So, just in case, ooh, dang. It's still kind of tough. So just in case I can't upload the video, we're gonna talk about it so y'all know how I trim it. So in my video, I see my friend. His name Jerron. Shout out to you, Jerron, because 
If you find my YouTube channel, without me telling you, you a stalker. <laughs> yeah, Jerron found my YouTube channel. I don't know how he found it. It's not like it's a secret. I just haven't told nobody. Even though I know my friends, they're going to support me regardless of what I do. I just never told nobody. And But he found it. And he be watching me. So, shout out to you, little stalker. But, Jaron is in most of my videos for that I posted. So, I went to Panama with a couple friends. Jaron was rating our trip between 1 and 5. And, I'm going to say our trip was a 5. I'm going to say our trip was a 5 because... Nothing went as planned. <laughs> and I know that may sound crazy, but it's the truth. Nothing went as planned. So we had to figure everything out, like from hotel to what we was going to do to what we was going to eat. Nothing went as planned. But, by it not going as planned, Sorry, y'all. That is not going as planned. We was able to, I guess, have more fun. Mm -hmm. We had more fun because it didn't go as planned. First, our hotel. Our hotel wasn't it? We drove all the way to Panama and basically didn't have a hotel. How did it happen? As Jerron. <laughs> we didn't have a hotel. God dang, this big piece of freaking steak about to choke me. But we ended up getting the room. We ended up getting the room. One room. One room with seven people. Imagine how that went. But actually, it didn't go as bad. In the words of Jerron, we got to know each other better. <laughs> We got to know each other. We got to annoy each other. People was getting aggravated. It was just a lot. But it was still a five trip. We laughed. We joked. We played. And we also planned the second trip. But we're going to do everything much better this time. Like, yo. Panama, I don't know if it was just us or if, like, I've been to Panama a couple times and I don't never remember it being like, I'm just go out and see racist because that, that's what it was. Or the people out there just rude as hell, like, like food options. Okay, we, we chose food options. We, um, oh, wait. Pause. By the way, this is a chicken. I don't know if I said this, but this is a chicken, um, barbecue chicken burrito. It have rice, um, chipotle sour cream, uh, uh, black beans. I think yeah, black beans, chicken of course, and some type of coleslaw, and then jalapenos. So back to Panama. So yeah. Either Panama races or y'all got buku people that's rude as hell, like in restaurants. So, first restaurant we went to, it was good. This is a little basic little place called Beef or Brady's. None too crazy. 
I got a burger and onion rings. It was good. Um, next food place we went was Friday. We want to eat Friday. We get the Fridays right. Um, and the man with the the hostess was like, "Y'all want a table, a high table, or y'all want a booth?" So we looking like he like if you get a if you get the booth. You gotta wait for your server. Wait longer to eat. If you get the high table, you get instantly eat. Cause he was like, she got other tables that she doing. She have um other people that she have to serve before y'all. That been here before y'all. Blah blah blah. Which is fine. Of course, they're gonna have people that was there before us. Cool, whatever. So he keeps constantly saying that him and on our him and Jerron going back and forth saying same thing. Oh, if you sit here, you got to wait. Oh, if you sit here, you don't got to wait. Made no sense. Because it's one chef cooking all this food. So he got to cook their food first. Then our food either way go no matter where we sit at. So he was like, well, this server can get to you. This server can't get to you. This can do that and blah, blah, blah. So anyways, we ended up sitting at the table that we was going to have to wait at. The server came freaking instantly as soon as we sat down. But when we sat down, she can't even get our drink order. She had like an attitude. Like she was like, what y'all want to drink? And then when we telling her our drink order, she like, I can't hear you. Speak up. You you got an attitude, baby. You can't do all that. We, when I got to pay you, I'm paying for this food. And I have to leave you a tip. Don't scream that you can't hear me. Um. She going, everybody, everybody that she's taking their drink order, she got a little attitude, the vibe off, like, all the way off. So, we are like, I'm looking around, like, I know y'all feel it, because I feel it. Then, so I'm looking like, well, what we going to do? Because I don't, I hate people with bad customer service. I will not eat, I will not get food from that. I don't like that. So, they, the lady, took our drink order, and I said, yo, we could leave. I'm telling Jerome, like, we could leave. We don't have to stay here. Just because she took a drink order, we don't have to stay here. She got a bad attitude. I don't want to eat here. So, Jakia, which is my friend, Jakia and Jerome are sisters. Shakia got up from the table and walked out. So I'm like, okay, we leaving. So everybody else was a little confused, but they followed suit and got up too. So, a little pause here. So, we all get up and leave. We all caught the vibe that her attitude was bad. And we don't eat there. So, we leave, we go to Sex Tour House, eat, everything fine. No problems, no nothing. Just fine. Is that the same day? Yeah. Later on that night, we was like, oh, let's go to um Waffle. No, let's go to Whataburger. Whataburger line was too long. Shout out to any state there at Whataburger because y'all got the best burger place. I love Whataburger. But they don't have that here in New Orleans. They got one in Baton Rouge, which is like an hour away, but who about to drive an hour just for a burger? Sorry, not me. I love it, but not that goddamn much. So, so that was a no-go because they don't have too long. So, we decided, let's go to Sonic. We go to Sonic. There's too many people in the car, so we like, I mean, and Dwayne, hey Dwayne, if you watch it, we get out the car. Oh, I forgot to tell you, hey, hey, Kia. We got out the car and we went, me and Dwayne got out the car and we went to another store. You know how at Sunday they have the drive up and you click the button. So we got out the car and went to the one next to us. So we ordered our food. The lady 
on that that was taking the order. She had the worst attitude ever. I don't know what Sonic that was. I don't know what her name was. But it was horrible. See? She lucky we was in a different city. She would have got it. She would have really got it. First off, she yelling. So I can't hear you. I can't hear you. So I talk louder. I said my order like five different times. This lady kept saying, I can't hear you. So when I yelled the order into the intercom, she's like, you don't have to yell. You can't hear. So you can't hear. I need to yell. Like, obviously, I keep speaking up. I keep saying the same thing over, over, over. You saying you can't hear. So if you can't hear, I need to speak up, right? That light really ignore me. So if y'all can't see me, I'm sorry. So... She taking my order. Here's the sound. I don't know y'all can hear. So, she yelling at me. She got a bad attitude. She doing too much. But, I had to order that food because they wasn't going to go nowhere else. So, I need to eat. So, the man was like, Let's go to the window. Let's go talk to the manager. Because she really had a bad attitude. So, we go to the window. And there's a lady that's walking up. A lady that worked there. She walks up. And she's like, is there a problem? Can I help you or something? And the man was like, yes. Who do y'all have taking your order? Like, I'm sorry. If you're if you from New Orleans, you know... You only get so many times of talking to somebody crazy before they come at you. And I, we don't go for that. You're not about to do all that. We coming at you. It is what it is. So, she came out the window. I mean, she came out the door. Because, you know, Sonic, you can't go in. But you could see their workers. They could see you. They could hear you and everything going on. Now, she keep on saying, oh, it's so crazy. We have so many uh, orders to take. Oh, we have doing this. We doing that. But when she heard us at that window, I mean, at that door, she came running outside to see what's going on. But, but you have all these orders. You can't hear. It's too much stuff going on. But you felt comfortable enough to run out that door. So, don't not Disclaimer. It was a lot of people there, and I did understand why she was saying it was busy. But busy or not, that's your job to handle it the best way you can without getting an attitude and being disrespectful to the people that's paying for their food. I'm paying for this food. You're not giving it to me for free. So, mm, like... I'm paying for this food. I'm talking to me crazy. So, as we going, all right, so back to the story. As we going, so she runs out, and Dwayne starts talking to her about, like, the way she was acting, and she like, oh, she was Jamaican, so I'm, and she was like, oh, it's, um, you should say, oh, it's, I can't even do no Jamaican accent. But she was basically like, oh, it's so many people, it's so many orders, I can't hear. Uh, you could you could come inside, you could look at the switchboard yourself. You Can you hear? She takes off her head and try to put on the Wayne head. And he's like, I can't hear nothing because nobody's taking the order. So, she like, oh, it's just so loud in there. I really couldn't hear. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, it's not the fact that you, so I started talking because it's not the fact that you couldn't hear. It's not the fact that, you know, the way you was taking the order. It's the the tone of your voice and the way you're trying to talk to us. We're paying customers. Don't talk to us crazy. So she did this. She was like this. Like, we probably... Like this. I don't know. We probably was this far apart. No, we might have been a little bit further apart. But she took her hands 
and did this my face. It, it, not a good look to put your hands in somebody's face that's already aggravated. Not a good look at all. If you put her hands on her face, I'm not going to be in this bar to this goddamn close. She's all about to punch the hell out of her. But put her hands in my face. D had to grab me. D is doing it. He had to grab me and, like, pull me back. And he finished talking to the lady because her attitude and them hands in my face was going to get her knocked out. Not out. Facts. So, then, she, we go, she come bring our food. Well, she come bring my friend in them food, but she didn't know that I was, we was in the car with them. She come bring their food, they food wrong. Wrong, un they order sweet tea, she bring unsweet tea. They order a meal that's supposed to have two burritos. She only bring one burrito. They ordered uh, tater tots. She bring fries. Something like that. It was just a whole mix up. And then she had an attitude when she was doing it. So, she was just talking crazy the whole time. So, you know, messed up the order. You talking stupid. So, Dwayne go back to the window and was like, no, as he walking, now this is my favorite part of the story. As they walking, she walking from out of the inside, and he's walking up to tell them that they gave my friend unsweet tea instead of sweet tea. So as she walking past, he, he was like, ma'am, um, this supposed to be sweet tea. You gave me unsweet tea? She's like, go to the window. <laughs> she had the worst attitude. The worst attitude. So we get he gets to the window and he said he opened the door. He opened the door and started yelling in there to get that sweet tea. They all there looking, laughing, acting like like it's a game. Just fucking crazy. I don't know how she thought. That that was going to go down. But I think she knew if we was in a different situation, she would have got it. Like, girl. But. You got to start them. Because you got to see. I never went to Waffle House today, and everything was fine. I don't know if them two workers had a bad day, but they was tough. And then she had the nerve to say she was the manager. And you acting like that, and they give you a manager position? Golly, they give that to anybody. A manager. I can't. A manager. <laughs> but she was gonna get managed, Heady. She was gonna get it. So, other than food thing, we don't. The pros and cons of Panama, other than besides the food stuff. I personally think it's better if you go during spring break time because that's when they have majority of the people. The major, like the best club out there, like we really couldn't find nowhere to go out. So we basically at nighttime just stayed home, played games, drank a little alcohol, went to sleep. We really didn't have a real nightlife out there. But we still had fun. We went swimming. We went. To this little amusement park thing and got on this ride called Music Fest. Y'all, Dwayne was sitting behind me 
it was like not that many people at the music fest, so you can get on any ride you wanted. The Wayne was sitting behind me, and he was like yelling, yelling little stuff, and it was like one of the things where the thing goes side to side, side to side, and my thing was rocking, but the Wayne thing was like his seat wasn't rocking, and mine was like, <laughs> and he was like, "Why your thing rocking and mine not?" <laughs> like. He was screaming. He was laughing. Hey, Dwayne is really a character. He's freaking hilarious. Um. So we had fun with that. Um. I don't know. I just rate Panama five out of five because it was better than being at home. Like. Anything better than being at home, especially when it was raining and flooding out here. Anything better than being at home. Oh, what the heck? Why were you um swallowing? You hearing your ears? Ugh! I ain't never paid that attention. My stomach already was messed up from this trip. It's about to be even worse. Eating beans and stuff. Mm -hmm. We fire right here. Black beans in here. Oh, Lord. Oh, I didn't even show y'all my lip gloss. After eating it, that's what it's looking like. So... Anything's better than being at home. So Panama is a five out of five for me personally. It's a lot of things that didn't go right. Yeah, I feel like could have been better, but it was all in all a good trip. Funny people, we died laughing every day. We got annoyed, we got into it. It was all in all a good trip. I wouldn't change you. So, my advice if you think about going to Panama, go spring break time. And go with people that like know. With it, with like what everything is. No offense to any other ethnicity, but I don't see how many black people. Like, don't no, no offense to any other ethnicity, race, any of that. I'm just saying, I don't see no black people, except for the people that work at Texas Row House. That one lady at freaking Sonic. And other Jamaicans at uh the little fair looking thing. Other than that, I want to see now. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to end this video right here. Cause my stomach is so up already. <laughs> I just wanted to come see y'all, talk to y'all. I haven't uploaded in three days. So, I just want to come see my friends. Hey, I still don't have a name for y'all yet. I need to think of something. Leave in the comments which I think I should call y'all. Also, leave in the comments and tell me 
if what your experience was like at Panama, like, do you think they're racist out there? Or do you think it just was us and we just so happened to run into other people that were kind of racist or were just rude? So, to end this video out, like always, I want to say make sure you follow. Make sure you, why do I say follow? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you tell your mother, your father, your cousin, your sister, your uncle, your baby daddy down the block, your baby daddy around the corner. Follow. Subscribe. <laughs> tell them come help your girl. I don't come watch me. I'm pretty funny. And I be talking about some realistic stuff. So why not follow me? Why do I keep saying follow? Why not subscribe to me? Jesus. But hey, since I want to say follow so bad, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at Wild Girl Amber, and I'll be sure to follow you back. So, until next time, nothing changes if nothing changes. So, get up off your butt and do something so you could have a better tomorrow. Till next time. Peace out!